outdoors. Don't let that sunshine fool you out that window. It's cold outside. It's windy. I'm about to make some New Orleans style red beans and rice with a twist. It's a good day to be inside cooking. I do have some outside work to do so this recipe I'm about to show you you can cook. Leave it cooking and get some other things done. Uh, I don't claim to be a chef so this is my disclaimer. This is my recipe. I've shared it with a few people. You may have a better recipe. If you want, share it on the comments below. But this is how I do them. I've perfected it over a little bit of period of time. Uh, I've shared this recipe with two different people um, in other states and they've cooked the recipe and um, had nothing but good compliments on the red beans and rice that they've cooked using my recipe. So I'm gonna get started in a minute. You'll see I have a crock pot on this side I uh, have some ingredients on this side. Uh, I'm going to get started with showing you the ingredients, how to set your crock pot up, and then we'll get into the cooking and uh, the time it takes to cook them. Anyway, stick around for a minute and I'm going to show you the ingredients I'm using. All right, so here's the ingredients I use in my red beans. Um, I like Camellia, Camellia brand red beans. This is a one pound bag. I'm making a double batch, so I have two bags. You can buy the one large bag for the same recipe. Um, if you wanna make a smaller batch of red beans, just cook one bag and cut the ingredients in half. Um, I'm using Pick Sweet Farms Seasoning Blend, Louisiana, we call that the Trinity. Um, this has onions, celery, green and red peppers, and parsley flakes. I use two bags of it. Um, see here, I have a Farmland Smoked Spiral Ham. Um, I usually use half of this for flavor. Uh, this particular one was frozen this morning, so I went ahead and cut it in half. I'll put this in a Ziploc bag, freeze it for the, my next batch. Uh, this is gonna go into my beans. This is venison smoked spicy sausage. Um, I usually cut this in big lengths and put it in there for more flavor. Uh, the spice from the sausage will come out and get into the red beans. Uh, the seasons I use, right now I'm using Slap Your Mama. Uh, you can use Tony's as well. What I've found is that the Slap Your Mama is a little bit spicier and also maybe a little bit saltier. So I don't put quite as much Slap Your Mama as I do Tony's. Um, you can add some celery salt. And here's my secret ingredients, Zatarain's Concentrated Shrimp and Crab Bowl. Um, not too much, I'll show you in a minute just how much I put in the crock pot. Um, this stuff is strong, so you gotta be careful when you do put it in. You want just enough to get a little bit of a flavor and a little bit more spice. So I'm gonna move over to the crock pot and show you how I put all this stuff in. Really simple, really fast, and you can crank the crock pot up and walk away. All right, I've moved over here to my crock pot. Nothing fancy, it's a Hamilton Beach crock pot. High, low. Um, as you can see, I have it about one third full of water. Um, you can put your beans in your crock pot earlier and let them soak. But anyway, about one third to a half water, let them sit in here and soak for an hour if you want. You can go ahead and turn them on now and cook them as soon as you put them in, but soaking them seems to work a little bit better. All right, we're back. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my ingredients in my crock pot. Um, this is just a normal crock pot, a Hamilton Beach. It's a little bit, it's a larger crock pot. I have it with about one half uh, maybe a little less than one half filled with water. I've already put my camellia beans in here. Let them soak a little while. You can let them soak up to an hour. I'm not going to let them soak that long today. I'm just going to turn this thing on and start cooking. Uh, first thing I do is I take my pick sweet blend. Put that in there. You can put it in there frozen. 
I usually do, but I have this uh, sitting out. And I like to put my powder seasoning, so I'm gonna grab the Slap Your Mama. Um, I put enough Slap Your Mama to cover all the vegetables that are in the pot. Um, a small layer of seasoning. You can always add more later. That looked like a lot. I can't tell you how many tablespoons it is, but I'm going to show you it's just a small layer over the top of the vegetables. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of celery salt. Not too much because the, the pig sweet blend has celery salt in it. Alright, here's my key ingredient, my secret ingredient, and other people. It might not be a secret, everybody might do it, I don't know. I take concentrate and I put about a cap full. Um, as you do this, you can kind of play with the amount. Um, a cap full seems to be a lot. In fact, I can smell it now, it smells delicious. I'm gonna mix that up. At this point, you could even let this sit longer and let them beans sit and soak up that flavor. But I go, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, ham trimmings in. This will break apart as it cooks, which is fine. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut up my venison smoked sausage spicy. Put that right there on top. One other ingredient I forgot to mention earlier is Polish kibasa. Um, the family likes Polish kibasa over the venison sausage, so... Uh, later in the cooking process, I'll add this Polish kielbasa. I don't like to put it in early because it'll overcook. Um, everything else is ready to go. A little bit more ham right here. Um, mix that up a little bit. Put your crock pot on manual high. Hit enter. Alright, so we have all the ingredients in mixed up, the seasonings mixed up, the crab bowls mixed up, everything's in here. Got my crock pot on high. I'm going to cover my crock pot and uh, I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to go outside and work in the yard. I'm going to work on my computers. I'm going to do, and I can just walk away and come back in and check on it in a few hours. Um, I'll give you all the time cooked a little bit later on in the video. Um, and at, a, at that point, we'll come back in and we'll put it on low. Um, so y'all stick around, it's going to be a couple hours, but we'll be back and I'll give y'all the time frame that it cooked and what it looks like when it's almost ready. Thanks for watching this video and um, hope you like it. And I know you're going to like the red beans if you follow this recipe and uh, hope you watch the video to the end. Thanks. Oh man, that smells good. Turns it on 12 o'clock. It's quarter to four. They've been on high. They're cooking real good. Um, at a boil. Um, I've already took a few out and checked them. They're pretty soft. So the next step is I'm going to take the meat out that I left on top, the sausage and the ham, remove it, and then I'm going to use. an egg salad smasher or potato smasher for potato salad and I'm going to mash the red beans. Um, I don't know if other people do that but it's a step I've done. The beans will get creamy and cook for the next hour on the low. Anyway, I'm going to take a minute, remove the meat, mash the beans, put this thing on low and uh, let them cook and get thick. You can leave some of that ham in there. You can see they're cooking really good. Um, I don't like to leave all the ham in there because if you leave the ham in there, it'll, um, when you mash your beans, they will get, you can see they've been done a while. I could have probably done this a while ago. Um, but if you leave, if you leave your ham in there and you go to mash these beans 
all your ham will get mashed up. And it's breaking up pretty much because it's been cooking for three and a half hours. At this point, the beans are done. This is what uh, gives you real thick, creamy beans like Popeyes. I'll just put that ham back in there whole. Put smoked sausage back in there. Okay, so your next step is move your crock pot to low setting. That's going to slow down the cooking, make your red beans very, very creamy and very, very thick. Um, as they start to thicken up, you may have to add a little water, stir it in. Uh, at this point, if you want to add some more seasoning, some garlic seasoning, some salt, some pepper, black pepper, um, would be the time. I'm also going to get that kibasa out and cut it up and put it in here now. Alright, I'm going to add the kibasa. I like to cut my sauce. Medium size. Because I have them big links of venison sausage if somebody wants a big link. Um, they're welcome to the venison smoked spicy sausage in there. That's what I eat. I love it um, Some of the women folk say it dries out a little bit, but it it, had, it gives a really good flavor to the beans um, This sausage right here is very very tender a little bit fatty So they're already starting to thicken up big time There. My crock pot is starting to fill up. Um, in a little while, I'll come check it. Probably add a little bit of water, get the consistency a little thinner, and then see if we need to add any uh, seasoning. All right, it's been about 35 minutes cooking on low. You can see here it's still bubbling. Got a little bit of grease in here from the kielbasa sausage. Just leave them on low, let them cook. It'd be a little clearer. So I put them on low 35 minutes ago. Uh, they're still cooking, still getting creamy. Just let them go till you're ready to eat. You can let them go for another hour. You can eat them now. Uh, the longer you can leave them in there, um, the more creamier and the better they'll get. Uh, I have my rice on behind me right now cooking, waiting for everybody to get home. Um, this crock pot, you can see how much is in there. It'll feed an army. Um, but I'm going to let them keep cooking on low. Come back and check them in a little while. I'll probably add a little bit of water and let them cook down a little bit more and uh, we'll be ready to eat in a little while. Oh yeah. Now they're cooking down nicely. Thick. I did add a little bit of water, not much, maybe um, a third of a cup because it was really thick. And it just depends on how thick you like your red beans. We like them thick. And I'm just going to let them keep going. Till the crew's here ready to eat. And I know that my better half will probably come in and dump a bunch more seasoning in there. And I will try to document it. Alright, welcome back. It's 5.45. The beans have been on since noon. 
Um, we've had them on the low for quite a while. They are ready to eat. Um, the bride came in, checked them. Um, normally she comes in and adds a little seasoning, some more tonies and maybe some salt and pepper. Um, I did add a little bit of water twice. Um, I didn't have that on video. Um, then we're getting real thick. Um, maybe just a half a cup or a quarter cup of water. Uh, stirred it in and then let them cook for another 30 minutes. Poured a little bit more water in, another 30 minutes. And uh, they seasoned pretty good. Anyway, we're wrapping this up. We've got the rice ready on the stove in the back. I'm going to zoom this in in a minute and show you all how thick they are. If you want them thinner, just add a little more water to them. Maybe a little more seasoning. Anyway, we're fixing to eat. So we're going to enjoy some beans. And thank you all for watching. And you're going to love these beans. Try the recipe out. Thanks for watching Guy's Choice Outdoors. Yep. I'm really excited about these beans. Has this rice been Got a little rice. A lot of rice. No, really. You like a lot of rice in your beans. Oh, and you got some venison sausage. Perfect. Lots of salmon. Oh, these like this, which we're about to receive from thy body through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You put jalapenos in yours, Gina? Mm-hmm. How are they? <laughs> Spicy? Emily, come on, I want an I want honest, the honest bomb. opinion. Are you eating? Perfect. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. I'm excited. I gotta get some filet.